Welcome back. Before the break, we were talking with our distinguished guest today, Mahmoud Rahman Benu. He is a musician par excellence. His philosophy is to spread the feeling of music, the philosophy of music, and he preaches music, the peace of music. He is not somebody who likes to perform, but he wants to spread the peace through music. Am I wrong? Uh, no, slight uh, correction that I don't mind performing, <laughs> but my mainstream, main, mainstream Strength. interest is not just performing. Right. I like teaching and preaching very Great. much, you know. Great. And Great. Uh, therefore, my own performance, I don't, I don't know whether a lot of people might say that it has not reached the height it would have <laughs> done otherwise. Well, that, that, is, that is your modesty. Uh, yeah, well. But, but also there's another point to, I, I must those mention. Those who are just performers, they are always conscious of uh, the uh, quality of At this point, I must mention that you are also engaged in the Venice's uh, uh, preaching and uh, spreading, you're also in, uh, involved That's in right. teaching. I mean, obviously, in, in you can't in, preach something if you can't do it yourself. Right. <laughs> so it's right. also practicing and preaching the same thing that you want and you love. Uh, we'll come to that later, see. Mm -hmm. There are so many seasons and so many ragas and influenced by this season or that season, mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Bangladesh, I understand, has got six seasons, see. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that we have more ragas? Uh, not really, no. The Raga system is North Indian concept, right. basically. And North India itself has got six seasons. Indian six season, you know, okay. everywhere. The Raga system developed uh, not in relation to the seasons, mm -hmm. but there are some uh, seasonal Ragas. Right. For example, Malhar, mm -hmm. Mia Malhar, Megh Malhar, Mm -hmm. um, Ramdasi Malhar, mm -hmm. Sur Malhar, mm -hmm. many Malhar, they are all rainy season ragas. Right, right. On the other hand, Bahar, Basant, mm -hmm. they are all spring season ragas. Mm -hmm. So these are the two main seasons where ragas have been developed right across the seasons. Right. But then all the other emotions are also, you know, which are not directly involved. So the Raddarbari mm -hmm. Kanara, mm -hmm. Re, 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 re. That's got nothing to do with any season, mm -hmm. you know, that matter. Uh, Bhairo mm -hmm. is a morning raga. Bhairo, 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 Bhairo. Raga ma re, re. Prabhatu bina tobu baji. That uh, songs based on this rag is likely to indicate that mm -hmm. something in the morning happening. Right. See. And Bhairabi is a morning raga. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think Indian music is very extremely uh, developed, you know, mm -hmm. and it's got a raga for every uh, minute of the day <laughs> and night, you know. There was in 1981 BBC held a program a gentleman came, uh, Ustad Niyaz Hussain Khan, Rat, he performed at 3 o'clock, uh, there is a... 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, 3 a.m. And he was uh, singing Rag Lalit at that time, you know, which is mm. just before Bhairwani, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a morning rag, but just the fa fag end. And in the, you know, in the summer, as you know, mm -hmm the uh, night becomes oh. morning very, very quickly. So three o'clock, you know, so there is a raga for every minute. I mean, instead of saying mm -hmm. season, seasonal, as I said, mm -hmm. that Malhar, Bahar Basant, these mm -hmm. are two mm -hmm. specifically clearly seasonal, right. seasonal ragas, but is time. There, is there any raga that is specific to Bangladesh region? Uh, no, again, we are part of North India. You right, see, right. all North Indians follow the same music structures. Right. Uh, in, you know, uh, basically what we can say is that we had very little to do with harmony, as in the Western music. Mm -hmm. We are more concerned about the melody, you know, right. underlying melody. Everybody spends half their life just to perfect a note. Right. 
and as perfect as you can make it, you know, that is well, important. Well, on this point, see, we would like to go to our studio's uh, back room and we would like to listen to one of your songs. Yep. Can we um, hear the song, please? Ami jagoter kache ghino hoye chhi Tumi jano ghina ko na Tumi jano ghina ko na Ami jagoter kache ghino Great, isn't it? A brilliant song. Brilliant. Sorry, I'll we tell you, let me tell you a little bit about this song. You right. see, the, it's sung by a lady called Angurbala. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very unfortunate that. It must have been a long time ago, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a long, long time ago. Not very long. 1940s, uh, 50s, mm -hmm. that's the mm -hmm. time she sang. And uh, their life history is that they, uh, they were musical prostitutes. Mm -hmm. They had reached the height yes. that nobody else was called no the one, no one yes Baijis, no one like us could reach them but they they used to be bought on and off by the these kings and jamin there are some people yeah now bought or sold or whatever never mind that they are women mm -hmm. first of all mm -hmm. and they also fell in love with you <laughs> fell in love just like rest of us right and that's this, this lady is saying that because of my status in the society, I'm a Jogutir Kasi Gino. I am hated by everybody. I'm just a prostitute or whatever. To let everybody hate me, I don't care. I might cry, I'm warning you, because mm -hmm. it's so deep in my right. feelings mm -hmm. that she's saying that, look, I don't care who the hell hates me, who loves me or not, only you the one that she loved and she respected. Mm -hmm. You don't hate me. To me, Jena Gina Kuruna. In these words, Adur Jotono. Obviously, in a love affair, the man used to really care as her, love her, and all that. Mm -hmm. And then she's saying, Adur Jotono, Kurite Jamun, Ibadhana Jena Kuruna. Never please tear or rip this relationship that we have true, true. just because of my status in this society. And 
as I said, I mean, you, yes, you yes, think is, about is, them. This is, this is very sad, yes. You say, think very about sad. their lives and you can't help crying, you see. Right, right. You that see. such heights, yes. they are, yes. uh, uh, you know, called away everything. They are Shura Shambhragi, they are these, they are that and all that. Mm -hmm. But status-wise. The social status was not. Mm -hmm. That's what but, they were. But they were great, isn't it, that they pro provided the music. Mm -hmm. They have and, a and, and tremendous they, 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 they fell for the music as uh, the first love. They served the music world and they, for the rest of the life, they're practicing music. You see? Exactly. That is why they developed they're, that's, the that's, They're dominating, you know, see? they knew nothing but music. Uh, but as I said, they used to sell themselves. Uh, Jamindar will, I don't know, there was a film. What is, uh, Pakija. Yeah, yes, yes. There, you, you, the story, some of it no has shards. come out. No you shards. Know. Yeah. Uh, the story of that girl, six years at the age when she was six, she was picked, you know, just abducted and made into a musical prostitute. Yeah, yes, yes. It was not by decision, you yes. know. But anyway, that's our... Well, you, 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 as, you are as a creative person, you see, it is said a creative person is a restless person and an inquisitive person. So, once uh, the war was uh, over, the country was liberated, you decided to leave Bangladesh and come over to England, mm -hmm. see. Uh, is it that you have a certain mission in your mind that you wanted to move from Bangladesh to England? Or? <laughs> Not really, no. It's a very simple middle class uh, aspiration. You see, I was a teacher in the university. Right. And without a uh, foreign degree or without a British degree, mm -hmm. you don't make, get any promotions. Right. You could decide to stay home and sing and sing your heart out, but professionally you will not move. Right. So I just came to do a PhD in right. economics. Right. And because I was changing from statistics into economics, right. they said, no, I'm afraid you'll have to do uh, an MSc first. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. In Leeds mm -hmm. University, I did an MSc in economics first. Mm -hmm. And then I enrolled for a PhD program. Right. Unfortunately, that never finished. Right. I mean, yeah. Lots of reasons. You're still working on it. Yeah, lots of, <laughs> still working. <laughs> I have now, you know, I've left everything. Right. I became a teacher later on. I right. joined the school teaching maths. You know, that was right. my statistics first subject. Right. And I spent about 25 years teaching. And then I have retired. So all those things have become history now. Right. But basically, I came to this country just for higher education, as every middle class man, educated man in Bangladesh do. Unfortunately, I got stuck here. The whole idea is okay, that sir. you used, uh, just one minute, you used the word, I left Bangladesh. I never left Bangladesh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I we'll go back. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go uh, back again to Bangladesh yeah. after this commercial break. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you for you. being with us. We'll be back soon. Don't go away. <laughs> Thank you.